Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, winter returning to Western Armenia, the demining works of Martoni have been completed. The production of Armenian carpets has significantly decreased in 2020. Iran to become a member of Eurasian Economic Union. Another issue of Bamber Madenadarani has been published. Kemalia Western Armenia to be included in the UNESCO list. Support to Western Armenia TV. Winters are usually severe and long, especially in the eastern regions of Western Armenia. The residents are looking forward to the arrival of spring. This winter, however, the weather came as a surprise. The air temperature suddenly rose. However, the cold breath of winter will come to replace the warm weather of a few days. Meteorologists predict a sharp drop in weather from tomorrow. Heavy precipitation in the lowlands, rain, in the form of snow in the highlands. Citizens, including drivers, are urged to be careful. Since November 23, 2020, the engineering units of the Russian peacekeeping forces have cleared 1,358.3 hectares of unexploded ordnance, more than 425 kilometers of roads, 1,292 residential buildings, including 29 objects of social significance, about 24.3 thousand explosive. The Ministry of Defense of Russia reports. It says that the Russian deminers have completed the demining of Martuni. According to the data published by the Statistical Committee, the production of carpets and rugs decreased by 76.5% in January-December 2020. As the committee informed Panorama.am, 7.4 tons of carpets were produced in the Republic during the mentioned period, and 31.5 tons in 2019. It should be noted that 31.5 tons of carpets and rugs were produced in the Republic in 2019, increasing by 19.8% as compared with 2018. The decrease of production is also connected with the war unleashed by Azerbaijan, as a result of which the carpet weaving economies in Artsakh suffered significantly. As far as reports, Iran has held necessary negotiations and is preparing for membership in the Eurasian Economic Union. This was announced by the Speaker of the Iranian Parliament, Mohammed Baker Ghalibaf. The Union has united all the countries of the region to create a free trade zone. Iran has started negotiations for membership in the Union. Preparations for our permanent membership will take place in the next two weeks, he said after returning from a visit to Moscow. Eurasian Economic Union and Iran entered into preferential terms of trade on October 27, 2019, an interim agreement aimed at establishing a free trade zone between the Eurasian Economic Union and Iran entered into force. The 30th issue of Bamber Matenadarani has been published. The issue includes the materials of the 5th Narekatsi readings, two reports of the international conference dedicated to the 90th birthday anniversary of ermonologist archaeologist Aram Tergevondian, covering the issues of history, philology, and manuscript heritage, as well as publications, reviews, and obituaries. See the digital version of the issue here. Preliminary work has begun for the province of Kemalia, the most important cultural value in the Yerzanka province of Western Armenia, to be nominated in the UNESCO World Heritage List. An agreement has been signed between the Northern Eastern Agency and the municipality of Kemalia as part of cultural and natural tourism activities. The project aims to identify natural, cultural, intangible heritage in Kemalia through feasibility studies and to promote the inclusion of the region's most important natural, cultural and intangible values in the list. Thus, the number of local and foreign tourists arriving in the region will increase. The state television company of Western Armenia does not deal with private advertising. It may cause the question why the Turkish section is part of Western Armenia TV. As you know, from Hamshen to Sasun or from Bayazet to Yerzanka, Western Armenia today includes millions of Armenian descendants of genocide survivors who use Turkish in their daily lives, some calling them remains of Turks. These indigenous Armenians, Islamized, Turkified or Kurdishized, live in our lands even a century after the genocide. They want to approach other Armenians, to understand them, to find their roots and to survive their identity. Beyond the dogma of religion, this awakening of identity is very real. Western Armenia TV wants to accompany Armenians on this day leading to being Armenian. Supporting the state television company of Western Armenia means allowing millions of Armenians to unite and share this deep-rooted sense of belonging. Now we present you Derikon Maraljan by Gerhard Choir.
The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.